All right, what's up everyone? It's Super here and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. This is going to be the how to play Peacemaker basic character tutorial. What I do in these tutorials is just pretty much give you some basics. Um, just go over the, the important combo strings you should focus on and give you a few combos here and there. Peacemaker has a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Peacemaker has a lot. He has zoning. He has safety. Um, he doesn't really have the most mix-ups, but depending on what character you use, you might actually get some overhead, some loads. Scorpion, for example, being one of them, giving you the overhead along with the low option with Eagly. But let's get started here. If you guys enjoy these tutorials, make sure you leave a like rating. It's always appreciated. So there are probably like four combo strings that i think you you guys should focus on let's start off just with his basic uh one two is going to be really good because it's plus on block so if you guys see here uh one two is actually plus three on block meaning if your opponent blocks this you get a free check with a down poke um and if your opponent's respecting it then instead of you know doing like a poke you could go for a grab or you could go for your back to uh, mid. That's, I think, 13 frames. Let's just check it out. 13 frames, back to mid. Um, if your opponent starts respecting this, it opens up a lot of uh, staggers and offense for Peacemaker. Obviously, this is going to be your fastest combo starter. Uh, you could combo it into this. Uh, obviously, you could combo it into his meter burn sonic boom uh you could combo into his regular sonic boom and depending on what cameo you have you might be able to combo it uh so for example i have uh kano but i think the sonic boom pushes him back too far you know maybe i could do i, I could definitely do something afterwards actually i can do that i just gotta be quick with it and then you could go into whatever so depending on what cameo you have you're going to be able to get um combos with your sonic boom of course i have kano so with kano i don't have to use my sonic boom to start the combo because i have the ability to use his gunshot in order to combo into kano's knives and continue my combo from there so it's going to look like this whoops So as you guys see, everything combo, 10 hit combo right there. And then from that, you could go into anything. I'll show you guys a little bit more combos later. Um, but obviously, stand 1-2 is going to be your best punish. You could go into stand 1-2-4 right here just to you know try to surprise your opponent with a kick. But to be honest, if you want to surprise your opponent, you know maybe do mid eagly, which actually keeps you uh, safe. Or you could like really surprise him by doing the low. I wouldn't recommend it off 1-2 because it's hard to combo. Uh, the only thing you're pretty much going to get down three, down one into uh, his Superman. I call it, I know it's called Torpedo. I just call it a Superman. I, I've always called that any move that has to do with looking like Raiden's uh, Superman fly. I just call it the Superman. Um, <clears throat> next, next combo string, 2-2. Two, two, really, really important. 2-2, uh, two, two, one plus three is a true grab. Meaning if you're blocking it high or you're blocking it low, your opponent's going to get caught by the choke. And the choke is going to lead to you being able to combo it into mid eagly. You can't combo it into low eagly because you can't um, cancel it into low eagly. But you could always combo it into your gunshot, your meter burn gunshot. Then you go into eagly or you could combo it into your meter burn sonic boom. Then go for something like this. Another sonic boom. Look at that, 37% off of, you know, your opponent getting hit by 2-2, two, 1-3. Two, um, you could always mix up your 2-2 two, two because your opponent's going to know that you're going to want to go for the grab afterwards. after um, the 2-2. Two, two. All they have to do is crouch without blocking, and they will immediately punish you because the choke will miss. But if you want to catch them off guard, you could do 2-2 two, two into mid eagerly. Uh, you could do two if you're a crazy person you go into your sonic boom uh, You could keep yourself safe with Kano or your cameo depending on what you're using um, but you could also do eagerly and then you call in your cameo like Kano and then You could keep yourself safe 
and also just in case this hits you could combo it um you, the timing is going to change depending on what camera you're using but it's always a good option if you want to throw your opponent off because they think that you're going to go for the full 2 2 1 plus 3 but 2 2 1 plus 3 is going to be super important uh it's going to be your way of continuing your combo as much as you want uh, you could go for this and then the gunshot. Go for eagerly and continue your combo from there. So 2-2-1-3, two, two, really important combo string. Obviously, you could cancel it into your cameo. Um, as you guys see, that comboed with the uh, optic blast. If you're using characters like Sector, uh, you could actually have the missile go up and hit him on the way down after the choke. It's just a really good combo string. You're going to want to be using it all the time. Uh, it has a drop kick ender if you want to surprise your opponent with that as well. Back 2 4 is really good because it's as fast as mid, 13 frames. Um, it sends your opponent uh, sort of upwards because of the knee. Uh, you could use that to combo it into his dart. And then go into 2 2 1 plus 3. And then into any anything else you want. That's almost 40%, depending on your cameo. Obviously, you're going to want to make it high as high as possible. Um, but this is really good for extending combos. You don't even need a spin bar. You could just go with something like that. Um, back 2-4 is going to be a pretty good tool if you want to try to check your opponent that's trying to mash. Because people tend to mash on, uh, on good old Peacemaker. And a lot of times this mid, people like mash under it for some reason it it doesn't hit like a true mid but back two definitely does um it leads to a choke back two four one plus three and the ender will hit your opponent if they're crouch blocking but if they're stand blocking then it's gonna m miss completely so you have to be very careful with that um and you know mix it up maybe with uh with your cameo overhead cameo something like that uh so the next one is going to be this move right here. This is going to be your biggest damage potential. Forward 4 1, and you could also go into forward 4 1 2, depending on what combo string you use. This is not going to work, right? Because I already used them. Yeah. You have to be careful how many times you use eagerly because you will only be able to be used once, having the same amount of gravity for you to combo. Um, so forward 4-1, let's just talk about that real quick. That's going to be your bread and butter when it comes to comboing with characters like Kano, with Striker. It's very easy to confirm into your cameo and then go into whatever you want. Look at that. That's 50% combo. This is going to be your best combo starter because it's the most damaging combo starter you have. Um, and you could easily combo it into your normal so uh, Sonic Boom. Go into 2, 2, 1 plus 3. Uh, you could even do this. Do like a stand 4 into Eagly. This is a little bit tighter though, so you have to be careful. This is actually a lot harder to do than it looks. See, even I'm struggling with it. That's why I don't use it. But that works. If you want to risk risk it, go for the execution right there. Definitely do so. But for me, I like going into 2, 2, 1 plus 3. It's easier to combo. It's easier to combo and it does almost the same amount of life. You're still going to have to spend the bar of meter. Um, but it's an easy way for you to continue your combo meterlessly. Like I said, you don't even need to use meter if you don't want to. You could just go with something like that. 305 damage is really good for meterless. Um, but like I said, if you're using characters like uh, Kano, like Striker...
striker actually grants you more damage because both of his missiles or his uh, grenades hit. Oh, that completely missed. But look at that. It missed and it was already at 500 damage. That's pretty crazy. The, the striker cameo is definitely the best cameo to use with Peacemaker because it grants him safety. It grants him um, mix-ups. And it also grants him the most damage you could possibly get. It's pretty crazy. But with Kano, you do the same thing with the knives. Exactly the same thing. Let me see. That's not the combo that I was going for, is it? Oh, there you go. 536 that's two bars of meter but 536 damage and keep in mind at any point you could go into fatal blow and get even more damage so that's a pretty basic bread and butter combo that you're going to want to do with peacemaker and kano um so those are the most important combo strings uh you also have forward one one i don't really use it um let me see am i missing anything else i don't think so his sweep is really good really far ranging whoa he's shooting his feet but it's like going through him um you're not gonna want to use his down one too much if if possible use his down three because his down three has amazing range and his down one has t-rex arms so instead of using like down fours make sure you use down threes because i fell into this trap as well down three is gonna want to is like your best friend um other than that i don't think i really missed anything Obviously, the air combo that you're going to want to use is 2-1-2 two, two because it grants a bounce. And, you know, depending on the combo structure that you want, you could go for many different routes that is going to lead to a lot of damage. Um, so, his special moves, his deagle is really good. It's just a good solid projectile. Um, it's not the fastest in the world, but it's not the slowest. Obviously, the meter burn attack grants you um a combo state oh god there you go it grants you uh your opponent a stun state or grants you a stun state and then you could combo from there man what is up with my eagerly timing see i did it too fast right there there's a fine line of uh eagerly action but that's what you have to work on practice practice um other than that, his uh, his teleport, you want to catch your opponent off guard, you know, your opponent's zoning a little bit too much, you can hold up and cancel it and come down with a jump punch, jump kick. You can use a meter burn one to get yourself out of trouble. If you hold up on the meter burn one, you'll come down or it'll send you upwards like the normal anti-gravity and then you could come down with the, with the slam or you could come down with a punch or a kick, whatever you want. And then go for, you know, whatever combo you want to do. Um, so the teleport, I need to use it more because if somebody's trying to zone me out, anti-gravity is a good way to uh, to stop that. Uh, obviously, eagerly, he has back uh, down forward four, which is the low eagerly, and then down back four, which is the mid eagerly. And you're gonna want to use down back four for pressure and for safety. And then if you punish your opponent, you're going to want to use the low eagerly to be able to combo. So I didn't really go over his forward four, uh, forward four, one, two. But if you want to combo into eagerly meterlessly, you could actually do it off forward four, one, two, uh, forward four, one, two. Then combo into two, two, one plus three. And then go into whatever combo you want. But this is a way for you to combo meterlessly with eagerly uh because you know doing stuff like this you're too close to your opponent stuff like this you're a little bit too close the only thing you're gonna get is a down one down three into torpedo into the superman so if you want to combo into eagerly meterlessly off a of combo starter you go for forward four one two four hundred and thirteen damage off of a forward four that's really good um 
Oh, not meterless damage. One bar of meter damage. But 40%. That's really good. And, of course, you could, you know, add in this. Do a little bit more damage. How much is this going to do? Five hundred and twenty five damage mid screen one bar of meter That is really good peacemaker does a ton of damage um, So that's another combo example for you guys um, Obviously I showed you guys his sonic boom really important if you're using scorpion You're gonna be able to combo this very easily meter burn sonic boom is a good combo extender um in the corner, the mid eagle is actually a good combo extender. Uh, so let's go to the corner. In the corner, your combos with Kano and Striker are going to change. Because Striker, you could get both cameos to hit. But Kano, you could only get one knives to hit. Because by the time that I do a second one, he has not recovered yet. So... It's going to be a little bit trickier to see he comes out too late. So what I do is I just like doing one. If I actually get the hit, I just like doing one. I'm going to do plenty of damage. And then this is a combo that I've been doing. That's a combo that I've been doing, 513 damage. Um, I just like the way it looks. But you could change it up. You could do something like this you could do something like that 519 damage is pretty much the same damage um, but you don't you don't even need to do that um, if you get someone with this in the corner you go for something like this Oh, I dropped the combo. You could do for something like that. Easy 45% combo off a of 2 2 1 grab. Um, obviously, if you're fast enough, you could combo into Kano and his gunshot. Um, if you get someone with back 2 4, pretty much the same. You could do it three times. Boom. 443 damage. Uh, you could do a different variation. Something like this. It does less damage, as you guys see. 42% only compared to 45 before. Five hundred and nineteen damage. Like I say, you could extend it. Five twenty five. If you want to add in his fatal blow. Remember, guys, timing is everything with combos. Nope. That's a little bit too slow right there. This is another one. So that's one way to combo into his fatal blow right there. Um, this is gonna do, this is actually gonna do a little bit reduced damage. I think it does 55, maybe 56%. Uh, you have to keep in mind that extending your combo too far is going to nerf the damage i think i know why the combo wasn't working i was doing too many um too many darts i think it's only two i think that's how it is right so that's another way to combo into your fatal blow this is surprisingly going to do more because it's not going to get it scaled as much 582, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so now if you switch to striker. So 
So that's a way to combo right there. This is gonna give you, I think, like 66% somewhere around there? 67%? Ooh. There you go, 67%, 42 hits, striker, two grenades, makes it really high damaging. All right, so that's one way to do it. Then this is the way that I like to do it, just because I like seeing more things on screen. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's how I like to do it, just because I like seeing more things on screen. I like doing the uh, jump up 212, I just like aesthetically the way it looks more, but obviously the more simple combo isn't as skilled, so it does uh, it actually does more damage than that. But if you want to hit a 50, per uh, a 50 hit combo, then this is your way to go. So you want to hit a 50 hit combo, this is the way you're going to want to go. I think this is 52 hits. Eagerly chop his face up. What I miss? Oh, it's a three bar combo. Wait, watch this. It's a three bar combo if you want to do 50 hits. There you go. So that's gonna be 52 hits right there. Three bars of meter, two cameos with striker, 65%, pretty much 52 hits. That's pretty sick, right? So I like using Kano just because everyone's using striker right now. And you could pretty much accomplish the same thing with Kano, except the damage is gonna be less because like I mentioned, the um, <clears throat> the grenades, both of them hit. So you're going to have more damage overall. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the basic character tutorial for Peacemaker. I hope you guys go out there, play him, have some fun, come up with your own combos with your own cameo. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.